All right, good afternoon. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, before we get started with football, just a couple of basketball items. Uh, this Friday, both basketball teams will be at home and will host a doubleheader to open the season. The women's team will play UALR, Arkansas Little Rock, at 5.30. The men's team will follow that game up against Alabama A&M at 8 p.m. If you guys need credentials or have not gotten your credentials, just let us know and we'll get those to you. Uh, for football, this is game 10 for us. Uh, this is the Army Week. We're at Army. The game will be on CBS Sports Network. The game will begin at 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if you guys need anything for the, regarding that game, please let us know. Now here's the head coach, Curtis Johnson. Thank you guys very much for coming. You know, it's, it's tough. You, you, I just can't break through at Yeoman Stadium for, hand, for homecoming. You know, we did at the Dome. We got a big one. Last year we played a tough Memphis team. And this year we played a real tough UConn team in the, in the rain, as you know, and it was, it was kind of a downpour. Uh, real quick with the injuries, Eric Thomas' foot. Uh, I expect Red Wine. I don't think Eric Thomas will be here this week. Uh, Red Wine's day-to-day -day with his concussion protocol. I think he will be fine. So is Richard Allen. He's questionable in Eldridge, Washington. I don't know if we'll have him with his ankle. So we're starting to mount up some injuries. Uh, Cedric practiced a little bit today, but I don't know if we're going to get him back in the mix. But, you know, the game, back to the game, it was just very, very disappointing. It was, you know, just to watch the defense, how they played so well against that team. It was just, you know, you watch them the week before they uh, they put 40 on, on East Carolina. And, you know, you think, God, this, this team's going to be a lot. You know, our defense kind of played pretty, pretty good football throughout the whole game. Special teams, I thought, was outstanding. It was the best special teams. We put our seniors back, a bunch of older kids on special teams and mixed in with the young kids, and I thought they played well, too. Offense couldn't get going at all, as you, as you saw. We had about one drive, and we didn't do as well. You know, Tanner's coming back from his first for, – for, for the first game since his injury. You know, I thought he started off playing pretty decent, and then after a while, I thought he, he didn't play – he didn't throw the ball quite as well. And part of it was the rain, part of it was the injury. We did consider playing another, other people just, you know, to give him a, a break. But it just wouldn't have made sense because we thought he would get it back to where he was. You know, disappointed we didn't run the ball better. And I know this is a stout team. You know, the, the game plan was to throw it around. It's a bigger, bigger team from the Northwest. You want to throw the ball and they play a lot of zone. But we just didn't get that done this past game. And it was just a plethora of things. It was just too many drops. You know, you just, you just look at, if you look at the tape, four or five plays in here, you know, it's drop, drop, could have been touchdowns. Any questions? Coach, you said you were going to watch the film and see if you were going to make any changes. Do you foresee any, any personnel or decision taking changes? Per personnel changes, pro definitely we're going to make some changes throughout. We're going to play, you know, different receivers. Uh, the, 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 we're just going to play the same ones more. We not, we probably won't play the young kids more. I like Dontrell the way he ran. I like Sherman the way he ran. I don't know if I'm going to put LeCedric in there. I like uh, uh, Robert, you know, those three. In rounds probably can go too. Uh, we got the two tight ends that's playing pretty, pretty decent that we're going to play. Uh, you asked me about the play caller earlier, and I looked, went back after you watched the tape. There was, you know, this game was less play calling than some, maybe some of the other ones were. You know, I just thought we had some open opportunities. And, you know, to my disappointment, you know, the kids just didn't catch a lot of those balls. You know, that was the biggest disappointment. And then, you know, the ones that they – and also he didn't throw, you know, in some spots. But, you know, those plays you got to make. I don't care if it rains or not. CJ, what's the message you give to Tulane fans outside the program? You got a five-game losing streak right now. Mm -hmm. How do you get them to, to to keep with you and and know that you're going to turn the ship around and that things are going to get better going yeah, forward? Yeah, you know what? I, I would tell them, you know, as as we've been going on through the season, we have made a lot of progress. You know, the defense came along to play. This is definitely a tough conference. I was just talking to another reporter just now. We played probably the 29th highest conference schedule, more ranked teams than anybody. And all those teams that we played while we were playing them were ranked with the exception of UConn. You know, so, you know, the in progress, you come out, you come see great defense. You look at what the special team's starting to do. We found us a punter, we found us a returner. And then I would tell them, you know, there's still a lot of kids that, that, that on our team that has two more years to play. You know, so when you, 
when you say, where are we right now? Offensively, we're not as good as we need to be, and we definitely get better. But, you know, these skilled guys are going to get better, and, and, and you know, for, from time to come, you know, we're going we're gonna to be good. Hey, CJ, um, are you satisfied with the quality of the players you're recruiting? Uh, I mean, because you've had a couple of guys who made the pros, but – is it just a numbers game where you need to get more of those kind of guys? You, you absolutely have to get more of those guys. If, you, if, if When we started, these kids that are playing now, when you project what you're going against, we were recruiting against Conference USA tier, tier kids, you know, and so when you recruit that and then all of a sudden we, we thrust into this other league and – I really didn't know that this league would be this physical and this good, this quick. You're talking about Houston. You're talking about Memphis. You know, you're talking about what Navy's done, Navy's best team. And, and since World War II, the guy from Navy wrote me a note and said that's their best team. And then, and, and, you know, in Temple, they've, they've, it's been eight or nine years that, you know, when Al Golden started, they started to bring this thing along. So it's taken us a little bit longer time. You know, and then and every time you look up, we're playing more and more freshmen, 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 once we get, get a little nicked up. So what you're doing, two things going against you, you know, you're just, you're just bringing kids in that you got to up your level of recruiting. And also, the, when kids come in here, they got to be ready to play. Do you think that you'll be able to see that out through, uh, that you'll be able to see those guys next year and, and maybe further along? Yeah, I think so. You know, I, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't know why we're going to develop them and we're going to, we're going to play them as much as we, we can. We just got to continue to, to build and continue to recruit and continue to develop. Absolutely. I think those kids are going to get better and better. Defensively, these seniors, how do you keep those guys motivated knowing that this is their last three games? Yeah, you know what? They, 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 they're, they're playing. They've been playing together. together. You know, uh, uh, Monroe is, is, is a consummate professional. You know, he's, he's, he's playing. At, you know, it doesn't matter to him. He's, he's a football player, you know. Royce LaFlance is the same thing, the same way. And Redwine, those are our only three seniors on defense. So Redwine was out last game, but he, I mean, they want to make a good showing. So, you know, defensively, I think those guys are going to play. They've been playing, they've been playing all their, all their career. They're going to definitely, definitely play well. Just so many negative plays on offense in that game. You'd get to second and one and then lose two yards. How, and that's been a recurring problem this year. How do you get that? How, what has to happen to get that fixed? Yeah, you know what, I think part of it is, you know, the, 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 sometimes, you know, you, you, you say, who's our best short yardage runner? I, I think we all can say it's LeCedric. Well, he's not on the field right now. So you call, you got to call plays that Dontrell Hilliard and Sherman are, are familiar with, and some of those plays are wide plays. We just got to block it better, and we got to run it, and we got to just continue to get those tough yards. I don't want to throw on every second and one, and then I don't want to run it, but you just don't have your guy who can run through a couple tackles, and, and that's what we've had in the past. You know, we had him or Dark War could do those things. And, and then the receivers, would you – you don't have a – a lot of numbers there, but were you expecting a little more improvement in those guys? Is, and is Teddy banged up a little bit? Yeah, he's and, been. It, yeah, yeah, Teddy's right. been hurt throughout the whole yeah. year. But but right. but this game was probably the, the biggest disappointment out of receiver crew. Mm -hmm. Just and I know it was a wet game, and I looked on their sideline. They didn't catch the ball. We didn't catch it. But our guys got to be able to make a catch or two. It, th th this game was about one or two catches, and, and whoever did it win the game. They didn't make none. They didn't make one, and we didn't make one. So, you know, that was the biggest, the biggest disappointment. Of the, the Devin Broen on the sideline when he didn't get his foot down. Do you feel like he should have been able to? Do that? Absolutely, absolutely. Very disappointing. You should know where you are on the field all the time, and and that's what, and you should know those things. And and, and we didn't, we didn't get it done. You know, I don't know if it was the weather. Or, you know, Tanner just coming back from the first time, but you know, that's something that you, if you want to be a football player and you want to play and have a successful offense, those plays are plays that need to be made. We talked just a little bit about playing your third option team this year. <laughs> it, it, well, it looks I, like you, you, you guys had a great game plan against Navy. We, we that did. On. I thought we did. I thought we played well against Navy. It's just, it's just one of those things that if, if in a season, you know, I don't know if, you, if anyone has ever played three option teams in a row. Hopefully we continue to learn. We learned a lot from Georgia Tech to Navy, and I hope we can learn a little more from Navy to Army to bring a victory. I'm excited about playing option. I'm excited about play, seeing our guys play because, you know, they played well against Navy, and, and this is a tough Army team, more formations than, than you would think an option team would have. But, uh, but they're a tough team, and their quarterback is dynamic. He's good also, so we just got to be prepared. But I like our preparation for the option. How is Lee? Is, Say it again? I mean, obviously Lee's hurting. Is he getting any better? Yeah, I think he's better. I thought at the end of the game, I think because of the rain, at the end of the game, I think it, it really, 
you know, kind of, you know, it kind of didn't, it, it didn't feel as well as it did in the beginning of the game. I'll say that. But I think Tanner is is coming along. I thought he threw the ball well. The best he's thrown it since, you know, since the injury was today. And then Army, SMU, Tulsa, you have a great opportunity to win out. How important is that to finish strong? Yeah, we got to finish strong, you know, so I can at least sleep a little bit and stop my stomach from hurting. You know, my wife's going to kill me. I'll keep her up all night. But definitely, you know, we got to win this one, and you take them one at a time, you know, so you win. Got to go down to, to uh, West Point. We got to win this weekend. It's, it all, it's all out. Then we'll talk about SMU and Tulsa after that. Anything else? Thank you, guys.